What's up guys this is 2 e Skate Riders. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Flipski VX1 remote and show you how it works and a quick review. But first let's do the unboxing video. Here we go. The remote comes in a well presented and safely packaged box. Inside is the charge cable. The cables to connect the ESC to the receiver. The receiver for the remote. And lastly the remote itself. The remote has a beautiful matte black finish which feels nice and sits in your hand well. It is the same shape and size as many other remotes. The remote has only a basic display, if you want more telemetry then you will be better off with the Flipski VX2 or Trampa wand. The receiver is very small but in this video we will not be installing it as we are only replacing an existing Flipski VX1 remote as the old one has seen a year of crashes and scratches but is still working, and this is a good excuse to make an unboxing and review video. We have been using a Flipski VX1 for the last 14 months. It has been dropped many times and also seen more crashes than I care to remember. It has served us well and will be kept as a backup in case of low battery during a ride. Many people upgrade the battery in this remote. Personally we have not had any battery issue. If your skateboard has a massive range then it is something you should consider. A major weak point of this remote is the USB charge port. We strongly advise you to install a magnetic charge port. This will prevent any accidents in the future. Alternatively take the remote apart and apply some hot glue around the port. This is what some people call battle hardening. To turn it on simply press the button on the right. To check the battery level of the remote double tap the same button like this. The top signal light will disappear and the four middle LEDs will indicate the battery level of the remote. After 2 seconds the remote will go exit remote battery menu. To pair turn the remote on. Press and hold both buttons for approximately 3 seconds. The remote should flash and vibrate. Then turn your board on.
Once the top signal LED stops flashing this indicates you have successfully paired your new Flipski VX1 with your board. Factory settings are for a TINS battery. To alter the battery data press the left button for 2 seconds to enter setting mode. The 4 center LEDs represent the S value of your skateboard battery. One equals six S. Two equals eight S. Three equals ten S. Four equals twelve S. For this skateboard, we require twelves. So we want all four liters EDs blinking. Press the left button to select your skateboard battery S value. To finish setting and exit this menu then press the left button again for 2 seconds. The remote has 3 speed modes. To change between slow, green, medium, orange and fast. Red. Press the left hand button like this. It also has a cruise control mode. Push throttle to your desired speed and quickly press the ride button. Although we have found it difficult to operate while striding and have never used this feature. The throttle wheel has a very short throw. You push up to go forwards, and down to brake. The Flipski VX1 allows you to reverse but only when using UART to reverse push throttle wheel fully down and press the left button. Once you feel the remote vibrate you can use reverse. This is the second feature we have also been unable to operate successfully. A big thank you to an electric skateboard builder called Stephen Murphy from Ireland for supplying me with this Flipski VX1 remote.